So, good evening. Guten Abend. Let's begin with prayer. Lass uns mit Gebet anfangen. Dear Father in heaven. Lieber Vater im Himmel. Lord, we thank you for the Sabbath day. Herr, wir danken dir für diesen Sabbath. For the things we could learn out of your word. Für die Dinge, die wir aus deinem Wort lernen konnten. For the sermon we could hear. Für die Predigt, die wir hören konnten. And also now for this evening worship we can have together. Und jetzt auch für die Abendandacht, die wir zusammen haben können. Lord, we ask you that you would reveal Christ to us. Herr, wir bitten, dass du uns Christus offenbarst. That these things that we study about him would really sink in our hearts. Dass diese Dinge, die wir über ihn studieren, wirklich in unsere Herzen einsinken mögen. And that it will enlighten our minds and hearts. Und dass es unsere Herzen und uh, unseren Verstand erleuchtet. And that we would uh, see him as he truly is. Und dass wir ihn sehen, wie er wirklich ist. And that you can grant us the experience we need in order to be saved. Und dass du uns diese Erfahrung geben ähm, kannst, die, damit wir gerettet werden können. And we ask and pray all these things in Jesus name. Und wir bitten und beten all diese Dinge in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen. Okay. So <coughs> let's go back to Revelation chapter 1. Gehen wir zurück zur Offenbarung 1. In the past days, uh, we studied a lot of these verses of this chapter. Und in den vergangenen Tagen haben wir all diese Verse von diesem Kapitel studiert. And uh, there are still a few verses outstanding, and tonight we want to look at those. Und da sind noch immer ein paar Verse ausstehend, und die wollen wir uns heute Abend anschauen. Okay, so yeah, we saw that uh, John is here on this prison island for the testimony. Yeah. And then he sees the revelation. Und dann sieht er die Offenbarung. And he hears this trumpet voice. Und er hört diese Stimme einer Posaune. And then he sees the Son of Man. Yes? Und dann sieht er den Menschen so. Okay, showing that Christ is one of us, he went to the cross and he bids us to follow him to the cross. Und er zeigt, dass äh, Christus ähm, einer von uns ist und dass er ins Kreuz gegangen ist und dass er uns, ähm, ja, dass er uns sagt, dass wir ihm zum Kreuz folgen sollen. And also that he basically was tempted like we are, but he can succor us now because he overcame as a man. Und dass er versucht wurde, wie wir es ähm, sind und jetzt kann er uns eben unterstützen. Weil er der Menschensohn ist. Okay, and, um, and we also saw that he's among the seven candlesticks. Wir haben auch gesehen, dass er unter den sieben Leuchtern ist. Illustrating his constant watch care on behalf of his church. Und das stellt seine um, ständige Wachsamkeit über seine Gemeinde. And also um, he's clothed with his garment of righteousness. Und er ist auch mit diesem Gewand der Gerechtigkeit bekleidet. Which is basically kept by the girdle of truth. Das wird durch den Gürtel der Wahrheit beibehalten. And also faith because it was a golden girdle. Und auch Glaube, weil das ist ein goldener Gürtel. And his head and his hairs were white like wool. Und sein Haupt und seine Haare waren weiß wie Wolle. As white as snow, it says. So weit, weiß wie Schnee. That brings us to Isaiah 1:18, right? Das bringt uns zu Jesaja 1 Vers 18. If your sins be as scarlet they shall be made What is snow and wool? Und wenn deine Sünden wie Schalach äh, rot sind, dann werden sie weiß und wie Wolle werden. So, in, so he's basically offering us here then this pardon of our sins. Und er bietet ihr hier uns den die Vergebung unserer Sünden an. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Und seine Augen waren wie eine Feuerflamme. And we saw that his eyes is basically God's word, right? Wir haben gesehen, dass seine Augen Gottes Wort sind. Because the eyes search you through and through. Weil die Augen die durch ähm, suchen dich durch und durch. Ja, durchforschen dich. Und durchforschen mm -hmm. dich. This is the seven eyes search with candles. This is only eyes. Yes. Und Fania sagt, dass er wird Jerusalem mit Kerzen durchforschen und das sind diese brennenden Augen. 
The only difference in the fun is the executive judgment, and here it's still the investigative. Der einzige Unterschied ist, dass in Stefania spricht es über das ausführende Gericht und hier ist es das Untersuchungsgericht. Okay. Yes, and we saw it's God's word, right, that, that basically searches you through and through. Right? Wir haben gesehen, dass es Gottes Wort ist, das dich durch und durch durchforscht. So it's this revelation, yeah, when, when you see all these things that John see from God's word. Das ist diese Offenbarung, also wenn du all diese Dinge, die Johannes gesehen hat, von Gottes Wort siehst, yeah, then you will see all these elements that we just pointed out. Dann wirst du all diese Elemente sehen, die wir gerade hervorgehoben haben. Okay, and then verse 15. Uh, jetzt Vers 15. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burnt in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So we saw the feet were the gospel feet, right? Wir haben gesehen, dass die Füße die Evangeliumsfüße waren. Yeah, they were like unto brass. Und sie wurden mit Bronze verglichen. And brass is illustrating the world. Und Bronze stellt die Welt dar. And for instance, Revelation 10, uh, here's this feet as pillars. Und zum Beispiel in Offenbarung 10 hat er diese Füße wie Säulen. Uh, and they were standing on the earth and the sea. Und sie standen auf der Erde und auf dem Meer. But it says they are brazen feet. Und es okay. sagt aber, dass sie bronzene Füße sind. So it's illustrating this worldwide dissemination of the gospel. Also es stellt diese weltweite Verteilung des Evangeliums dar. Okay, so this is basically what he's, I mean Christ, he himself, he has brazen feet, but he wants to give you brazen feet here. Right? Christus selbst hat hier bronzene Füße, aber er möchte dir hier bronzene Füße geben. So it's like illustrating that when you know carry the gospel to the world the gospel of peace stellt jetzt da wenn du das evangelium des friedens zur welt bringst and the voice was the sound of many waters und seine stimme war wie das uh, schallen von vielen wassern and uh, we saw these many waters are these waters of healing und wir haben gesehen diese vielen wasser sind die wasser der heilung okay so his voice is now a healing a healing message okay. also seine stimme das ist eine heilsbotschaft okay so <coughs> Therefore, we can see it's all these illustrations of a savior. So a savior is revealed to you here. Okay. Also, können wir sehen, das sind alles Darstellungen eines Retters. Also ein Retter wird dir hier offenbart. Okay, but the savior at the same time he will search you through and through. Okay. Aber es sagt zur selben Zeit wird der Retter dich durch und durch durchforschen. Yeah, but not to condemn you, but to reveal unto you the hidden evil. Yes. Aber nicht um dich zu verdammen, sondern um dir das verborgene Böse zu offenbaren. In order that you can confess it and be saved. Damit du es bekennen kannst und gerettet wirst. And what again is the hidden evil? Und was ist noch mal das verborgene Böse? Yes, the, the root of bitterness, right? Die Wurzel der Bitterkeit. Which is also? Was auch? Yes. Okay. Eine böse Neigung. And what is this? Und was ist das? Self. Self, exactly. Das ist das okay. Selbst. So the Lord needs to show us self in order that we can crucify self okay der herr muss uns das selbst zeigen damit wir das selbst kreuzigen können okay so now let's go to verse 16 gehen wir jetzt zu vers 16 it says and these verses uh, we haven't looked at yet und an diese verse haben wir noch nicht angeschaut That's, therefore we want to look at those verses now in a little bit a little bit more depth und jetzt wollen wir diese verse also jetzt um, in einem einer tieferen also in einer größeren Tiefe anschauen. So, it says in verse 16. Vers 16. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. Okay, so what did he have in his right hand? Was hat er in seiner rechten Hand? Seven stars. Seven stars. Sieben Sterne. So let's go again to verse 20. Gehen wir nochmal zu Vers 20. It says, the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Okay, so the seven stars are who? Sieben Sterne sind wer? Yeah, the seven angels of the seven churches. Die sieben Engel der sieben Gemeinden. And we all know, yeah, when you go to the seven churches, it always says, for instance, now in chapter 2, verse 1. Wir wissen alle, wenn wir zu den sieben Gemeinden gehen, gehen wir zum Beispiel zu Offenbarung 2, Vers 1. It says, and unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write. Yes? 
mit dem Engel der Gemeinde von Ephesus schreibe. So, and then it writes to all the different angels of these different churches. Und dann schreibt es zu all den verschiedenen Engeln der verschiedenen Gemeinden. And what is the angel? Und was ist ein Engel? Yes. Ein Botschafter, also wer auch immer ähm, die Aufsicht über die Gemeinden hat. So, it would be the, the preacher or the pastor of this church. Okay. okay, so, and it says he, he holds them in the right hand. So let's keep your finger here, let's go to Isaiah 41. And then verse 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So what will he do? Was wird er tun? Uphold you. Yeah, uphold you with the right hand. Er wird dich aufrecht erhalten mit seiner rechten Hand. Of his righteousness. Seine okay. Gerechtigkeit. So the right hand is what upholds you and it's his righteousness. Also die rechte Hand ist das, was dich aufrecht erhält und es ist seine Gerechtigkeit. And also go to Galatians Gehen chapter 2. Auch zu Galater 2. And let's read verse 9. Lesen wir Vers 9. This is when Paul went to Jerusalem back then. Da ging Paulus damals nach Jerusalem. And he met with the church leaders. Und er hat sich dort mit den äh, Gemeindeleitern getroffen. With Peter, John and James. Mit Petrus, Jakobus und Johannes. So it says in Galatians 2, Vers 9. Galater 2, Vers 9. And when James, Kephas and John who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. So what did they give? Was haben sie gegeben? The right hand of fellowship. Yes, the right hand of fellowship. Die rechte Hand uh, der Gemeinschaft. So we can see that the right hand is, is righteousness, but it's also the fellowship okay wir können sehen seine rechte hand ist seine gerechtigkeit aber es ist auch äh, die gemeinschaft watch out that the camera is not falling so mark okay. Right. so okay so when you go back to revelation 1 wenn wir jetzt zurück zur offenbarung 1 gehen and we studied this some time ago. What are the seven stars? Wir haben das vor einer Weile studiert. Was sind die sieben Sterne? Mm, literally. Also buchstäblich. What are the seven stars in the sky? Was sind die sieben Sterne? Uh, oh, the Pleiades, right? Die Pleiaden. Okay. So the Pleiades, uh, he's upholding with his right hand, but it's illustrating his ministers that he's upholding. Er hält die Pleiaden mit seiner rechten Hand seine Gerechtigkeit aufrecht, aber das sind eben diese Prediger, die er aufrecht hält. In what are you to become here? Was sollst du hier werden? Star. Yeah, you become a star in heaven. Du bist right? ein Stern im Himmel. And you become, you, you receive these brazen feet. Okay? Du erhältst diese brausenden Füße. And what did we read in Romans 10 about the feet again? Was haben wir in Römer 10 über diese Füße noch mal gelesen? Exactly. Yeah. How beautiful are the feet of those that bring the gospel of peace and glad tidings. Yes? Wie schön sind die Füße von denjenigen, die frohe Botschaften uh, bringen und das Evangelium des Friedens. Okay, so therefore he shows you, yeah, because here then, when you, once you obtained the revelation and you're humbled in the dust, you become a minister unto him. Also er zeigt okay. dir, sobald du um, die Offenbarung erhalten hast und in den Staub gedemütigt wurdest, wirst du ein... Minister oder Prediger für ihn. Okay, and 
therefore he shows you, he gives you a promise here that he will keep you as a minister. Okay? Yes, he will keep you here as a minister. Okay? So, because what did Isaiah see? Let's go quickly, keep your finger here, let's go to Isaiah 6. Haltet euren Finger hier und gehen wir schnell zu Jesaja 6. Okay, and then uh, let, let's go to this here quote in the study Bible. Gehen wir zu dem Zitat in der Studienbibel. Um, for the verses 5 to 8. Für die Verse 5 bis 8. It says, when one is ready to work with God, he carries message. Is everybody there? Is he there? Okay. It says here, Isaiah had a message from the God of heaven to give to the backsliding people of Israel, and he gave them his message. He knew what elements he had to deal with. He knew the stubbornness and perversity of the heart and how hard it would be to make any impression upon them. Jesaja hatte eine Botschaft von Gott aus dem Himmel, um dem zurückgeschlitterten Volk Israel zu geben. Und er gab ihnen diese Botschaft. Er wusste, welche Elemente, welchen Elementen er zu tun haben würde. Und er wusste von der Sturheit und Verdorbenheit des Herzens und äh, wie hart es sein werden würde, einen Eindruck auf sie zu legen. Yes. So he basically knew, yeah, it's like what was like, it was an impossible task for him. Okay. Also er wusste eigentlich, dass es ein, eine unmögliche Aufgabe für ihn sein. And when you go now to the next paragraph. Und gehen wir zu dem nächsten Absatz. Because then he she speaks about how he, he then saw the glory of God. Okay. And then it says, To those who are engaged in the work of God, in the conversion of souls, it would seem as though it was impossible to reach the obdurate heart. This is how Isaiah felt. But when he saw that there was a God above the cherubim, and that they were ready to work with God, he was ready to carry the message. Also diejenigen, die im Werk Gottes arbeiten, für die Bekehrung der Seelen, da scheint es für sie unmöglich zu sein, das verstockte Herz zu erreichen. So fühlte sich Jesaja, als er, ähm, aber, also. so fühlte sich Jesaja aber als er den Gott über den Cherubim sah und dass sie bereit waren, das Werk Gottes äh, mitzutragen. mitzutragen dann war er bereit, die Botschaft zu bringen. Okay, so, what made him ready to minister? Was hat ihn bereit gemacht, zu dienen? The revelation. Yeah, the revelation. Die okay. Offenbarung. So, and therefore, uh, the revelation, this is where the Lord wants to encourage you to go forward and give them last warning message. Okay? In der Offenbarung, da möchte der Herr dich ermutigen, dass du vorwärts gehst und die letzte Warnungsbotschaft bringst. And he also tells you, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Okay. Und er sagte noch, ich werde dich aufrechterhalten mit der rechten Hand meiner Gerechtigkeit. And you are in the right hand of my fellowship. Okay, I'm with you. In der rechten Hand meiner Gemeinschaft, ich bin mit dir. Okay, so, and this is what Isaiah saw and this is what John saw. Okay. Und das hatte Jesaja gesehen und das hat auch Johannes gesehen. So, let's go back to Revelation 1. Gehen wir jetzt zurück zur Offenbarung 1. And verse 16 again. And verse 16. So, and he had in his right hand seven stars. So, this is what we looked at the right hand and the seven stars. Okay. And out of his mouth went a sharp two edged sword. So, and we understand the sword is the sword of the. Sword is the sword. 
Ja, yeah, the sword of the spirit, right? The Geist ist also der Wahrheit. Okay, it's, it's the word of God. So we just go to Ephesians 6. Das ist das Wort Gottes. Gehen wir zu Epheser 6. Because the sword comes out of his mouth, right? It's right. his word. Schwert kommt aus seinem Mund, das ist sein Wort. Vers 17. Vers 17. says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. All right. So the sword of the spirit is the word of God. Yes. So now let's go back to Revelation on now chapter 2. Gehen wir jetzt zurück zur Offenbarung, jetzt Kapitel 2. Now verse 12. Jetzt Vers 12. It says, And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saith he, which hath the sharp sword with two edges. Okay, so here is now the one with a sharp sword, right? Here is jetzt derjenige mit dem and what is he telling this church? Was sagt er dieser Gemeinde? Vers 16. Vers 16. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. So, what will he do with the sword? Was wird er mit seinem Schwert tun? Yeah, fight against you. Okay. Er wird gegen dich kämpfen. Unless you, es sei denn, du, you repented. Du right? tust. Okay, so now go to Revelation 19. Gehen wir jetzt zu Offenbarung 19. And there's Christ coming on the white horse. Da kommt Christus auf dem weißen Pferd. Yes, and let's go to verse 15. From 19 and verse 15. It says, And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. So, the sword that comes out of his mouth is to do what? Das Schwert, was aus seinem Mund kommt, soll was tun? Yes, smite the nation. Soll right? die Nation schlagen. And when you go to verse 11. Wenn wir zu Vers 11 gehen. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Okay, so what is Christ coming to do here? Also was kommt Christus zu tun? Yeah, judge and make war. Dass er right? richtet und Krieg führt. And he said, unless you repent, I will fight against you with the sword of my, my mouth. Und er hat gesagt, es sei denn, dass du Buße tust, werde ich gegen dich kämpfen mit dem Schwert meines Mundes. Okay, and now verse 21. Jetzt Vers 21. This is when he now came to make war with them. Da kam er, um mit ihnen Krieg zu führen. And it says, and the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceedeth out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Okay, so the sword coming out of his mouth when he fights against you, is the executive judgment. Okay? Because when you go now to John chapter 12, and then verse, verse um, 48. Johannes 12, Vers 48. It says, He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. So what will judge you? Was wird dich richten? 
the word of God, right? Das Wort Gottes. The sword that comes out of his mouth. Das Schwert, was aus seinem Mund kommt. Okay. So. Also, Hebrews 4 says it's the sword out of the thoughts and intensity. Exactly. Okay. Auch in Hebräer 4 sagt es, dass es. Hebräer 4, Vers 12, dass es ähm, der Unterscheider und. Ja, der Unterscheider der Gedanken und der Absichten. Yes. But I, I think there's these two applications because his eyes were also his word that searched you through and through, right? Ich glaube, da gibt es zwei Anwendungen, weil seine Augen waren ja auch ähm, das Wort, was dich durch und durch durchforscht. So he searches you through and through here. In ja, durchforscht dich durch hier. And if you don't repent, then this word will judge you, uh, condemn you. Okay. Wenn du nicht Buße tust, dann wird das Wort dich hier richten, also verdammen. Okay, that would be then the sword out of his mouth. Das okay. wäre dann das Schwert aus seinem Mund. So therefore he appears to you also, he shows you all these elements of a savior. Okay. Deswegen er erscheint jetzt hier dir auch und zeigt dir all diese Elemente des Retters. But he also shows you now an element that he will judge you. Okay. Aber dann zeigt er auch das Element, dass er dich richten wird. Unless you repent. Es sei denn, okay. dass du Buße tust. Unless you accept the Savior. Es sei denn, dass du den Retter annimmst. I want to show you, I want to show you two more Bible verses to this point. Ich möchte euch noch zwei weitere Bibelverse für diesen Punkt zeigen. Let's go to 1 Samuel 25. Gehen wir zu 1. Samuel 25. Samuel 25. Das ist Samuel 25. And this is when Nabal received, uh, refused to give the offering. Da hatte Nabal sich geweigert, das Opfer zu geben. And then verse 12. Vers 12. It says, So David's young men turned their way and went again and came and told him all those things. And David said unto his men, Gird ye on every man his sword. And they girded on every man his sword. And David also girded on his sword. And there went up after David about 400 men and 200 abode by the stuff. So, what is David doing? Was tut David? Yes, he comes with a sword, okay? Er wird Gericht ausführen, er kommt mit seinem Schwert. To now bring the punishment upon them. Jetzt diese Bestrafung über sie zu bringen. But what did Abigail do? Ja, was hat Abigail getan? She, yeah, she, and she repented, right? Sie hat sich beeilt und sie hat Buße getan. Therefore the punishment didn't come upon him. Deswegen okay. kam die Bestrafung nicht über ihn. So therefore it shows you that he shows you I'm also here with a sword and unless you repent the punishment will come upon you. Deswegen okay. zeigte dir, ähm, dass er hier mit dem Schwert ist und es sei denn, dass du Buße tust, wird er dich hier bestrafen. Okay, and let's go now to Exodus chapter 34. Uh, Gehen wir jetzt zu 2. Mose 34. I mean, but it, I get what you're saying, but the, this uh, word has two aspects of it. Because it first of all reveals your sin, because also... Yeah, that, that, that's the eyes. The eyes search you through and through. And then the sword is there, because he comes now with the sword of his mouth. We see it says, when he fights against you. Also die Augen sind die, die dich durchforschen und dann kommt das Schwert, was... No, I want, want to show that the, when, it, when he says the sword comes out of his mouth, this is illustrating the executive judgment. And his eyes is also his word, but this is illustrating the investigative judgment. Also, what I want to show is that the sword that comes out of his mouth is the judgment of the eyes, and the eyes, what also his word is, the investigation. So you have basically these two applications of the word. You have also these two applications for the word. No, it's just that, okay, I was just thinking because when the warning was coming to Jerusalem, they saw an angel standing with a sword raised above it. Okay, yes, so it's a warning, exactly. Yeah. So, he's basically warning you that the sword will punish you. Wo Jerusalem bestraft werden sollte, da war auch ein Engel mit einem gezückten Schwert und das ist eben diese Warnung und er sagt, 
Yeah. It's the warning that he will punish you. Yeah, okay. It's the warning that he will punish you. That's also what I said. It's like when he comes here with a sword out of, out of his mouth, he says, unless you repent here, the sword will punish you. Das ist, was ich gesagt hatte, er kommt hier mit diesem Sch äh, Schwert in seinem Mund und ähm, es sei denn, dass du Buße tust, dann werde ich dich bestrafen. Okay. Okay, now let's go to Exodus 34. Gehen wir jetzt zu 2. Mose 34. Because Moses said, show me thy glory, right? Der Mose hat gesagt, zeige mir deine Herrlichkeit. And the Lord says, I will pass by before you. Und der Herr hat dann gesagt, ich werde an dir vorüberziehen. Now, um, and then in chapter 34, he passes now by before him. Kapitel 34, da geht er in ihm vorüber. Let's go to verse 6. Gehen wir zu Vers 6. It says, And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. So up till here, how is he revealing himself? Bis hierhin, wie offenbart er sich? Yeah, as a savior, right? Also als ein Retter. And that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. So what is this? Part now. Und was ist jetzt dieser Teil? Yeah, it's his, 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 his righteousness, right? Das ist seine Gerechtigkeit. Because it says mercy and truth kissed each other, right? Und es sagt Gnade und Wahrheit haben sie einander geküsst. So in his character, both elements, perfect mercy and perfect judgment or righteousness, are blended in one. Also in seinem Charakter, da ist vollkommene Gnade und vollkommene Gerechtigkeit oder Gericht ähm, miteinander vermischt. So, and this is what all the prophets see here in the Revelation. Yes? Das sehen all die Propheten in der Offenbarung. Because how did, for instance, Isaiah see this here? Weil wie hat Jesaja das Beispiel gesehen? Where did he see Jesus wo sitting hat, on? Wo hat er Jesus sitzen gesehen? Yes. Yes, and the throne would be... In, because he saw him in which apartment? Also auf dem Thron und der Thron wäre, weil er hat ihn in welchem Abteil gesehen? Yeah, the most holy that would be there for the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alle Heiligsten und deswegen wäre das jetzt die Bundeslade. And what is mink or blended in the Ark of the Covenant? Und was ist in der Bundeslade vermischt? Yes, but uh, what we just discussed here. Also das, was wir gerade besprochen haben. Mercy, yes, mercy and truth or justice. Yes. Es ist ähm, Gnade und Wahrheit oder Gerechtigkeit. Yeah, because the mercy seat and below the mercy seat is the, the law. Okay. Weil es war der Gnadenthron und unter dem Gnadenthron war das Gesetz. On the cross, what does this white say? What two things met there? Und was sagt Ellen White, was hat sich am Kreuz getroffen? Yes, mercy and truth. Kissed each other, right? Gnade und Wahrheit haben einander geküsst. So, perfect justice was executed on the cross, but also perfect mercy. Right? Vollkommene Gerechtigkeit wurde am Kreuz ausgeübt, aber auch vollkommene Gnade. And when you see the revelation, you see Christ on the cross. Right? Wenn du die Offenbarung siehst, dann siehst du Christus am Kreuz. So therefore you will see here both elements of the Lord. It's, that's his character. Right? Deswegen wirst du dort beide Elemente des Herrn sehen. Es ist sein Charakter. Yeah, he will show you that he's a savior. Er wird dir zeigen, dass er der Retter ist. But he will by no means clear the guilty. Aber er wird auf keinen Fall den Schuldigen freisprechen. And therefore yeah, he will cry out, was me, but at the same time, maybe let's go there to Luke chapter 4. Und wir sind ausrufen, wie es mir wird zur selben Zeit, gehen wir zu Lukas. Oh, oh, sorry, it's uh, Luke 5. Gehen wir zu Lukas 5. And this is when Peter saw the revelation. Da hat Petrus die Offenbarung gesehen. When Christ said, yeah, throw down the net on this side, and then they caught these many fish. And let's read verse 8. When Simon Peter saw it, 
he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. So, what did he say? Was hat er gesagt? Yeah. Yes, so he said, depart from me. Okay. Gesagt, Weiche von mir. But what, did, what does Sister White say? What did he do at the same time? Was sagt Ellen White? Was hat er zur selben Zeit getan? Yeah, he held fast to his feet. Er hat okay. sich an seinen Füßen festgehalten und wollte ihn nicht gehen lassen. So in this sense, um, it's like uh, you cry out, was me, but at the same time you will hold fast to him because you know it's your savior. Okay. Also, zur selben Zeit, wo du sagst, wie es mir, wirst du an ihm festhalten. Weil er dein Retter ist. Yes, these two elements. Yeah. The justice will condemn you, but at the same time you need to hold fast to him because he's your only hope. Das sind diese zwei Elemente. Also das, die Gerechtigkeit wird dich verdammen, aber zur selben Zeit wirst du dich an ihn festklammern, weil er ist deine einzige Hoffnung. You will then hold fast to his mercy. Okay. Du wirst an seiner Gnade festhalten. Okay, so uh, when you go back to Revelation 1, Gehen wir zurück zur Offenbarung 1. And this is therefore also what John saw, yeah, that he sees now also this justice aspect of his character with this sword coming out of his mouth. Deswegen das, was Johannes gesehen hat, das ist eben ähm, auch dieser Aspekt der Gerechtigkeit seines Charakters, also das Schwert, was aus seinem Mund kommt. Okay. And unless he repents, the sword will come and fight against him. Und es sei denn, dass er Buße tut, wird das Schwert kommen und gegen ihn kämpfen. Okay. And um, let's read now verse 16 again and let's go to the last point of verse 16. Lesen wir jetzt noch mal Vers 16 und gehen zum letzten Punkt von Vers 16. Says, and he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. So, how was his countenance? Wie war sein Angesicht? Ja, yeah, ist das Sonne. Wie die yes. Sonne. Okay, so let's go to the Mount of Transfiguration. Gehen wir zum Berg der Verklärung. Matthew 16, I think. Matthew 17. 17. 17. Let's read verses 1 and 2. Lesen wir Verse 1 und 2. It says, And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James and John, his brother, and bringeth him up in a high, into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Okay, so here we can also see uh, the face as the sun. And when we go now to Malachi, chapter 4, and I think in German it's uh, chapter 3, and uh, verse 20 in the German. But in um, English, uh, chapter 4, verse 2. Aber im Englischen ist es Kapitel 4, Vers 2. It says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Okay, so what is the sun? Was ist die Sonne? Yes, it's the it's the sun of righteousness with healing. Es ist die Sonne der Gerechtigkeit mit Heilung. So therefore he's yeah, offering you their healing. Deswegen er bietet dir Heilung an. Uh, and we studied this. The revelation is also what in what in respect to healing. Wir haben das auch studiert, dass die Offenbarung was ist in Bezug auf die Heilung. I mean, there's this hymn, right? Es gibt dieses Lied. Yeah, it's the Balm in Gilead, right? Es ist der Balsam, Balsam in Gilead. Okay. So, it's the sun that will, the sun of righteousness that will heal you. Es ist die Sonne der Gerechtigkeit, die dich heilen wird. And how will, 
how will it do so? Und wie wird das geschehen? What is our problem with our minds? Was ist unser Problem mit unserem Verstand? What do we think? Wie denken wir? Yeah, literally, carnally, right? Okay, but the Lord wants to bring us to the spiritual understanding. Yes? Der Herr will uns zu dem geistlichen Verständnis so, bringen. therefore, let's go to Exodus 34. Deswegen gehen wir zu 2. Mose 34. So Christ is the son of righteousness, right? Christus ist die Sonne der Gerechtigkeit. And what is his church to be in this respect? In dem Bezug darauf, wie soll seine Gemeinde sein? The, the, the moon that reflects it. Exactly. Yes. Also der Mond sein, die es reflektiert, also wie die Sterne. Yes, exactly. Okay. So now let's go to Exodus 34. Gehen wir jetzt zu 2. Mose 34. And let's begin in verse 29. Fangen wir in Vers 29 an. This is when Moses was 40 days and 49 nights on Mount Sinai with the Lord. Da war Mose 40 Tage und 40 Nächte auf Berg Sinai beim Herrn. And he saw the Lord's face, so he saw the sun of righteousness. Okay. Und er hat das Gesicht des Herrn gesehen, er hat die Sonne der Gerechtigkeit gesehen. And then it says in verse 29. Da sagt es in Vers 29. And it came to pass, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand, When he came down from the mount, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. So what did his face do? Was hat sein Gesicht getan? Yes, it reflected now the, the sun of righteousness. Yes? Es schien, also das hat jetzt die, uh, die Sonne der Gerechtigkeit reflektiert. So he was like the moon or the stars that now reflect the light of the sun. Er war jetzt wie der Mond oder die Sterne, die uh, das Licht der Sonne reflektiert. And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were, they were afraid to come nigh. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him, and Moses talked with them. And afterward all the children of Israel came nigh, and he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him, in Mount Sinai. And till Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spake unto the children of Israel that, that which he commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone. And Moses put the veil upon his face again until he went in to speak with him. So that's the story where Moses always put the veil on his face. Okay. Das war diese Geschichte, wo Mose immer den Schleier über sein Gesicht gelegt hat. And Paul, he comments on this. Und yes. Paulus er kommentiert darüber. So let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Wir werden zu 2. Korinther 3. And let's begin in verse 6. Fangen wir in Vers 6 an. says, Who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Okay, so what is compared to you? Was wird hier verglichen? Yeah, the letter and the Spirit, right? Uh, der Buchstabe und der Geist. And the Spirit, he says, is the New Testament. Yes? Und der Geist sagt, er ist das Neue Testament. Now verse 7. Jetzt Vers 7. But if the ministration of death, written and engraven in stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. So which covenant is he speaking about here? Über welchen Bund spricht er hier? The old, the old right? The old. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. 
So, for even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excelled. For if that which is done away was glorious, much more that which remain is glorious. So, what was done away with? Yeah, the old, right? Das alte. Illustrating Moses' face shining. Okay. Das stellt da, wenn Moses Gesicht the yes, shine. it's the type. Okay. Das ist der Typus. Because he only reflected the true. Okay. Weil er hatte nur das Wahre reflektiert. Okay, so therefore. Well, he only illustrated that which should be in the New Testament Christian. He, he was typifying the New Testament Christian that would shine, would reflect the light of Christ. Er hat den, den neutestamentlichen Christen ähm, dargestellt, der das Licht Christi, äh, also so scheint wie das Licht Christi. It was an illustration to teach us what we should be like. Das war eine Darstellung, um uns zu lehren, wie wir sein sollen. Yes, but it's also, you know, that he was illustrating the type. Right? Das war ja auch so, dass er den Typus Because he illustrates here the, the Old Testament, it says. Okay. Er stellt ja da in den Alten Testament. And a type, what is always the type? Das ist immer ein Typus. Typifying the, the Antitype. Yes. Er, stellt, er typifiziert den Antitypus. But uh, maybe let's keep your finger here, let's go to Colossians uh, chapter 2. Haltet euren Finger hier, gehen wir zu Kolosser 2. Let's begin in verse 16 to 17. Das ist 2, Vers 16 bis 17. Or even let's begin in verse 14. Fangen wir doch in Vers 14. <coughs> it says, Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to, the, to his cross. So what was taken out of the way? Was wurde aus dem Weg genommen? The type. Yeah, the Old Testament, the types, right? Die Typen des Alten Testaments. Because it goes on to say in verse 16 and 17. Es sagt weiter in Vers 16 und 17. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink, referring to meat and drink offerings, okay? Es bezieht sich auf Speis und Trankopfer. Or in respect of an holy day, or of a new moon, or of the Sabbath days. That was the ceremonial Sabbath, right? Das waren die zeremoniellen Sabbate. Of the Old Testament types. Das, der alttestamentlichen Typen. Which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Okay, so all these types, they are just a, a shadow of the real thing. Right? All diese Typen sind nur ein Schatten des Wahren. So the antitype is always the, the real thing. Der okay? Antitypus ist immer das Wahre. So... The point I want to make is that when Moses' face shone, der Punkt, den ich machen möchte, ist, wenn Moses Gesicht geleuchtet yeah. hat, he illustrated the, the type, okay? Er hat den Typus dargestellt. But it was a reflection of the Son of Righteousness, which was the antitype, the true thing, okay? Es war eine Reflexion der Sonne der Gerechtigkeit, des Antitypus, was das Wahre war. So when he saw here Christ's face shining as the sun, also als er hier das Gesicht Christi gesehen hat, dass wie die Sonne scheint. What what is the Lord revealing to you here? Was offenbart der Herr dir hier? When you see now the sun. Wenn du die Sonne siehst. Yeah, the antitype. Okay. Den Antitypus. So, and this is exactly what will heal you. Yes. Und das ist genau das, was dich heilen wird. Because it's the sun of righteousness with healing in his wings. Weil es ist die Sonne der Gerechtigkeit mit Heilung in seinen Flügeln. Yeah, it's the antitypical understanding of all things. Es ist das antitypische Verständnis von allen Dingen. Maybe he's just typifying what you're going to be. Because Sister Wayne says, when the latter rain fell, their faces shone bright and they went forth. It's just, it's just illustrating, this is what it should be like with you. Und er schattet dann einfach voraus, wie du sein solltest, weil in Wald sagt, als der Spätregen fiel, sind sie vorwärts gegangen mit den leuchtenden Angesichtern, also er zeigt dir, so solltest du sein. Yes, I'm not denying this, but it's a different illustration I want to show with this here. Ich will jetzt damit eine andere Darstellung zeigen. Yeah, I want to show that, as Paul says, it's the Old Testament, it's the types when his face shone. Ich will jetzt zeigen, so wie Paulus gesagt hat, dass 
And this, this Alte Testament is the type as his face glowed. And because he reflected the the sun that he was looking at. Because he saw the sun reflected that he looked at. So the sun illustrates the antitype. The sun stellt the antitype. And this is what Christ is now revealing to you here. He's revealing to you the antitype. And that's often what the Christ is here. Often what the antitype. And the antitypical understanding is what heals your mind. And the antitypical understanding is that what your understanding heals. Because when you have now a spiritual mind, this is what heals you, right? Because when you have a spiritual understanding, that is what heals you. Right? Because it's the carnal mind, the literal mind, is what is making you sick. Because the fleshly understanding, the literal mind, is what is making you sick. Weil das ist der fleischliche Verstand, der buchstäbliche, der dich krank macht. Okay. Everybody follows? Kann jeder folgen? No. I'm, I'm not following you. I mean, you, you might know what you mean, but type must mean anti-type, right? So Moses is a type of Christ. Mm -hmm. So Moses himself illustrates Christ. Mm -hmm. So Moses' face shone and Christ's face shone. So they're both the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. But it, it, I don't know, maybe it seems to me you're saying something different. No, what I'm saying is what Paul says here in Second Corinthians. No, I know, I know what Paul says. I'm not arguing with by what Paul says. Paul's talking about that they they couldn't see they couldn't see the light because they couldn't bear it, right? And it's the same when when Christ comes there at the end, right? Without the exceeding bright light, many people will flee from it, just like you see with when he reveals it to Saul. Or when he reveals it to Daniel, there's a group that flees away. They can't bear the, the light. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know what you, you seem to be making something of it that is not in the type. Okay, let, let's go back to Second Corinthians three. Let's look at this again. Also, gehen wir nochmal zurück zu zweiten Korinther drei und schauen uns das nochmal an. Let's read verse uh, six again. Gehen wir nochmal Vers six. It says who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. So he's comparing now the letter with the Spirit, right? Yeah. Yes. Den Buchstaben mit dem Geist. He's comparing the Old Testament with the New Testament. Den Altes, das Alte Testament mit dem Neuen. Now the type with the antitype. Den Typus mit dem antitype. And now in verse 7. Vers 7. But if the ministration of death, written and engraved in stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. So therefore, in this context, it illustrates the type, the Old Testament. Also in this context, stellt es den Typus. Okay, that's what Paul says here, right? Sagt Paulus hier. But this was to be done away. Und das sollte weggetan werden. So, so Mo Moses, Moses is represent the Old Testament that was to be done away. Yeah, and his face shining. Moses stellt diesen das alte Testament da, ähm, was weggetan werden sollte und sein Gesicht hat geschehen. But his face shining is illustrated in something. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, but that's a different illustration. That's no, not no, what no, I want to no, show. No, it can't be the antitype then. That's what I'm saying. That's why I have a problem with what you're saying. Mo Moses' face shining is illustrated. Christ's face shining. That's what it is. Right? They couldn't bear the glory of it. Right? That's why he had to wear a veil. And it was typifying when Christ comes that they wouldn't bear the glory of his face. That's the exact type and antitype. Moses is illustrated. Moses himself is illustrated in the Old Testament. Christ himself is illustrated in the New Testament, right? But the glory that shines off the face in the Old is just typifying the glory that shines off the face in Christ in the New. Right? Yes, the, the yes. And the, that's the what I'm saying. It's like when the sun, because Christ's face shines as the sun, right? Yes. That's the antitype. Christi Gesicht leuchtet wie die Sonne, das ist der Antitypus. So, when Christ's face shines as the sun, it's the antitype. That's, the, that's clearly what it says. Also, hmm. Christi Gesicht leuchtet wie die Sonne, ist es der Antitypus? Maybe it's just what you're saying is confusing, but go. I don't know. It's, it's very clear. Okay, but I will try to explain it uh, better, maybe the next time. Also, ich werde versuchen, das das nächste Mal noch klar, besser zu erklären. Because what is, what, what is it that heals you? Weil was heilt dich? The, the light. 
Yeah, yeah it's, but it's the spiritual understanding, right? It's the geistliche Verständnis. Yes, but yeah. it's, the, it's the, what he also says, the way he says, it's the bright beams of the sun of races shining into your heart, right? Yes, but what, what does it in mean? In 2 Corinthians, right, he's mm -hmm. talking about, even under the Old Testament, had they received the correct understanding of it, those bright beams would have shone into their heart and healed them. Yes, but what is the correct understanding of it? No, it, it doesn't matter. It's no, no, just, the type is shown just answer, the antitype. answer this point. I, I'm answering you. Yes, it's the, point the, it's is, the antitype, right? No, no, it doesn't matter. Had, had they understood Moses' face shining, what it pointed to, it would have healed them. So had they Yes, exactly. Best. Because it's the antitypical understanding what heals you. I, I'm, I'm not arguing. Yeah, and that, that's my point. Okay. So, my point is, it's the antitype that heals you. Also mein, the antitypical understanding of things. Also, my book is das, uh, is das antitypische Verständnis, is was dich heilt. So, it's this, the sun of righteousness, it's the sun, is the antitype. That, that's, I wanna, that's the point I want to make. Okay. Also, it's the Sonne der Gerechtigkeit, der Antitypus. And, uh, and this is what Christ reveals to you here. He reveals the antitypical understanding to you that your mind can be healed. And just uh, offenbart dir Christus, dieses antitypische Verständnis, um, dass sein Verstand geheilt werden kann. Okay, so let's go back to Revelation 1. Gehen wir zurück zur Offenbarung 1. And uh, <coughs> let's continue in verse 17. Fahren wir fort in Vers 17. It says, and when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. So, therefore, now he has this experience after he saw all these things. Yes. And uh, <coughs> what hand is laid upon him again? Welche Hand wird noch mal auf ihn gelegt? Yes, his right hand. So, the right hand is upholding you. Okay. Die rechte Hand äh, hält dich aufrecht. And it's the fellowship with Christ. Und das ist die Gemeinschaft mit Christus. So, when you now fall down like that, wenn du jetzt wie tot dann niederfällst, then, yeah, the Lord is upholding you again. Okay. Dann hält dich der Herr wieder aufrecht. And what is he telling you? Was sagt er dir? Fear not. Okay. So now you. That's what he said to Peter. Yes. Hat auch zu Petrus gesagt. And it says, "I'm the first and the last." So he's now. Yeah. Basically, the revelation is now accomplished in the sense that you now understand the first and the last, the type and the anti-type. Right? Er sagt, ich bin der erste und der letzte, und in dem Sinne ist jetzt die Offenbarung abgeschlossen, weil du verstehst jetzt. Den Typus und Antitypus. Yeah, because first and last is Alpha and Omega, right? It's right. Type and Antitype. Erst und letzt ist Alpha und Omega, Typus und Antitypus. Okay. And it says in verse 18. And it says in verse 18. I, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, Amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. So, <coughs> what is he um, saying here to John? Was sagt er hier zu Johannes? Fear not, because. Fürchte dich nicht, denn. Yeah, because basically what you experienced, I also experienced, okay? Und was du erfahren hast, habe ich auch erfahren. And I have now the keys of hell and death. Und ich habe jetzt die Schlüssel des Totenreiches und des Todes. So, let's go to Matthew 16. Gehen wir zu Matthäus 16. And let's begin in verse 16. Fangen wir in Vers 16. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So what did he receive? Was hat er erhalten? Yeah, the, the blessing and the revelation. Yes. So he's now at the same 
point where John King, when he said, fear not, right? Er sitzt an demselben Punkt, wo Johannes kam, wo er gesagt hat, fürchte dich nicht. And I say unto thee, that, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So once you have the revelation, what can the Lord not do? Sobald du die Offenbarung erhalten hast, was kann der Herr jetzt tun? Uh, build this church upon Er kann die you, Gemeinde right? auf dir aufbauen. Because Christ is now in you. Weil okay? Christus ist jetzt in dir. In verse 19. Vers 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So what do you obtain now? Was du jetzt? Keys of heaven. The keys of heaven. Die right? des so, and that's also in Revelation 1. Uh, Christ says that I have the keys. Right? Sagt, ich habe die Because I was dead and I'm alive. Weil ich war tot und bin am Leben. So Christ himself had this experience of dying and rising up again. Okay? Christus selbst hatte diese Erfahrung, dass er starb und wieder auferstanden. And this is your experience here when you die and get resurrected. Und das okay? ist dann deine Erfahrung hier, wenn du stirbst und wieder auferweckt wirst. And then you obtain the keys of hell and death or of heaven. Okay? Dann erhältst du die Schlüssel des Totenreiches und des Todes oder des Himmels. Because uh, it says now in Revelation 3 verse 7. Bei den Offenbarungen 3 Vers 7 sagt es. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. So, uh, this key of heaven is the key of David, and it's the key of hell and death. Dieser okay? Schlüssel des Himmels ist der Schlüssel von David, und das ist der Schlüssel von because when you go also to Revelation 20, and let's read it, verses 1 and 2, it says, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. So what key does he have? Welchen Schlüssel hat er? The key of hell. Yeah, the key of hell and death, right? The bottomless pit. Schlüssel des and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So, and with this key, you can now open and shut, right? And you can open the heaven, you can shut the heaven. But you can... Exactly. But you also can sh open and shut the bottomless pit. Okay. okay. So, let's finish now. Let's go back to Revelation 1. And let's read verse 19. It says, Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. So, what are you now commanded to do? Was wirst du jetzt äh, befohlen zu tun? To write, right? Zu schreiben. Past, present and future. Vergangenheit, Gegenwart und Zukunft. Uh, because you know this witness. Weil yes? du bist jetzt dieser Zeuge. Uh, and all these gospel writers, and yeah, we looked at this, Und all diese Evangeliumsschreiber, das haben wir uns angeschaut. How many gospel writers do you have? Wie viele Evangeliumsschreiber hat man? Four, right? Vier. And they are illustrated by whom? Und sie werden Cherubim. durch wen dargestellt? Yeah, by the four cherubims. Durch okay. die vier Cherubim. So they are all having this experience and therefore they write now. Okay. Sie haben jetzt alle diese Erfahrung und deswegen schreiben sie. Habakkuk says, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Okay. Habakkuk sagt, schreibe die Vision und mache sie deutlich auf Tafeln. Das ist die fliegende okay. Buchrolle, die du schreiben sollst. Okay, so, I hope that chapter 1 is now clearer. Okay. Ich hoffe, dass Kapitel 1 jetzt klarer ist. And how the Lord wants to reveal himself here and show us that he's the Savior, but also he will not by no means clean, clear the guilty. Okay. Wie der Herr sich hier offenbart und zeigt, dass er der Retter ist, aber dass er auch 
keineswegs dem Schuldigen freispricht. Ja? Yes? Okay. And these things, uh, by God's grace, one day will be your experience. Okay? Diese Dinge durch Gottes Gnade werden eines Tages deine Erfahrung sein. And that you will be saved through this understanding what John saw here. Dass du gerettet werden wirst durch dieses Verständnis, was Johannes hier gesehen hat. And I hope that will be the case for each one of us. Und ich hoffe, dass das der Fall für jeden Einzelnen von uns sein wird. Amen. Amen. Okay. Then let's close with our prayer. Und das ist mit unserer Gebetsrunde abschließen.